Folk Squads melt under five Katushas. Panther melting as well. Look at this. Panther's losing most of its health to Katushas. Hello everyone, this is GrayShot17, and today I, <laughs> I, I'm covering a replay. This one's submitted by a fan. Let's see how this game goes. It's on SN Steelworks, and we got ourselves Miles J. Dong, uh, Cocktail, Bang Bang. Oh, is that the Gigak reference? Bang Bang, Bang Bang, Bang Bang. That, oh my god, that's so, that's such a good meme. That's such a good gif. The RAF is here as well. We got, uh, but also by the Soviets, which is weird. Three Soviets and an American. Versing Lud Ludig, uh, Ardit, oh god, Aridam, uh, uh, Aridam, a a CPU Hard, and Shrek. Okay, nice easy name with Shrek and Ludwig and CPU Hard. Although it looks like the Allies definitely have advantage with overall playtime. Yeah, for those who don't know what the hell I just did, I highly recommend looking at uh, the Trash Taste. Uh, or a any of videos by Gigic Gig and look at bang bang. It's 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 a hilarious gif But uh anyway, we got if you would like to me replay again submit to my discord down below And let's see how this game in SNC works goes again three austere and an OKW looks like the um austere player that is Aradam god damn it <laughs> Why did I have to pick this guy I can't pronounce? Uh fighting Soviet players and looks like it's about to flank this MG MG being Absolutely destroyed by cocktail. Oh, that sounds good right now. I actually had a strawberry uh, mocktail on Thursday. That, uh, no, it wasn't a mocktail. I had a mocktail afterwards. It had tequila initially. It was really good. Anyway, um, I was I was tasting some food. It was great. But looks like the Soviets tasted uh, what the Germans had and are not impressed because they absolutely dominated the right hand side. MG coming up, but it's absolutely it has no support. Ludic just got two pioneers and is building caches, which is great because they're going to need the resources because they lack the territory. Mao Zedong, which is weird and American, so whatever, is taking over the territory with the Soviet, and yeah, they're taking over everything. Mines could is very well be placed, and Soviet forces are just laying down cover. So right side not looking great for the Germans. Middle under Soviet control. Left, it's a little better. Looks like the uh, OKW player pushed back with um, some support from the Austere being Mortar and MG. Uh, managed to at least drive away. Who is this player? The Yeah, the RAF. So RAF, by the way, went with Shock Mortar. Great IL-2 Cervix Strike. Again, highly recommend using it. Um, and also looks like the uh, Soviet did bring up a Mortar. They're trying to hold back the Germans, but without support, I don't see it. The support being... Wait, you went Conscripts and Penals? That's very weird, but... Bang Bang, uh, definitely lost, uh, uh, lost his engineer squad already. Nice flank by the Sturms, trying to wear down this MG. Hopefully he can get to this side. Good use by Shrek here. Best song is Winged Hussars. Uh, I want a tank with 50 grand, uh, of the 50, uh, oh, I, I'm assuming the M1 grand sound. That'd be interesting. Or, or are you talking about 50 cal? I started talking about tanks before this tree, uh, before this game, and yeah, people are now on that. It goddamn better be this is America. I mentioned having uh, my Second Amendment right being uh, having uh, being fulfilled by ha being able to conceal carry a tank, because we just realized that you can buy a tank for fifty grand. And since I live in Texas, I think that would be totally fine. Now I w I will say other states probably not so much because there was a there was a guy that literally stole a tank. I believe it was California. And he literally just was driving down like Main Street, crashing into stuff. You can I can go on YouTube and watch the video. It's insane. But uh, yeah, I believe that the bank robbers is the reason why, like in California now, they have like you, they literally can just call a guy and just bring in a guy with armor-piercing rounds, uh, or like guys with armor-piercing bullets to even deal with stuff like tanks. So, yeah. Incendiary going off pretty well. So yeah, probably Anyway, penals uh, be easily held back by bulk squads engineer squad moving on over to thanks to an NG Great shot not for 50k to buy it for that much Tired wait hold on chat tired play with the new buy wait what? If he leaves in the first five minutes, I uh... 
No. He's saying that, but he's also losing his troops and not giving a shit. Like, he's the one losing stuff right now. Bang Bang is trying to support. But they are being focused hard. I mean, even hell, this other Soviet's... I mean, the other German's coming on in. Is he... Did he really just leave? What a jackass if he left. He 100% left. What a jackass. What an absolute jackass being like, I don't like my teammate, bye. Like, okay. Like, yeah, sure, the teammate going mass penal is not exactly the best. But still, hot damn. I want to see the REF in the actual World War II actually do that. Where they're like, you know what? We're not actually doing that well against the Germans. We, uh, you know, we just had Dunkirk. We're done. We're done. We're out of the war. Bye. Come on. Bunkers placed the hold down mid. Looks like plenty of MGs by Ludwig. Which, by the way, went defensive doctrine. So... But, unfortunately, forgets that the Allies have all the right sides, so they're just going to start pounding you with mortar support. Conscript being absolutely clobbered in mid. Okay, bang, bang, come on. You can do better than this. Pull out your, in pull out your crazy frog and do some good tactics. Uh, again, Soviets and Allies still hold the right. Looks like the Axis are having a strategy of mass mortar. Which I'm just realizing right now because they have three mortars at the very least pounding this side. Although it looks like the uh, allies are, you know, reinforcing using the ambulance and solve a decent amount of infantry to maybe push on in. Lots of bunkers though going down. So, oh, I'm sorry. This one's a medical bunker. The This bunker is barely keeping it together. The pioneers reinforcing. Hey, you know, look. It looks like the AI is actually doing better pushing against the Axis and... Uh, yeah, actually managing to take over the ter- Well, almost take over the territory. MG stopping. Does retreat and does live. So that's good for the shock troops. Penal's coming on in. He is mass producing them with PTS rifles. So again, yeah, sure, he's maybe not the best. But hey, maybe he'll come in clutch later. You never know. He is actually pressing on this MG from two different directions. So he could possibly throw a satchel on him. And he has the resources for it. Does need to separate a bit, but he's coming in from multiple directions. Throw the satchel! Throw the satchel, bang, bang. Come on. Satchel time. Throws one satchel. He does retreat, which I think might be a misclick. Does bring down the building. Another satchel. Come on. There we go. MG's going to reposition, but Volk's... Oh, no, not the Volk. Uh, a little bit of damage, but he will retreat. More satchel. He needed more satchels. But no, wearing down the building's actually pretty good because, again, you can't reinforce and focus on that. What about a ghost division? Is that like Hearts of Iron 4 where it's just literally... Oh, that is, that's 100% a good idea. I should get inflatable tanks. That, 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 that sounds like a fantastic idea. If I can't have a normal tank, I'll deceive my neighbors into thinking I have a tank by getting inflatable tanks and having that. Perfect idea, chat. 100% good idea. It's like prepping for D-Day, except... It's really intimidation. And hoping my tank doesn't blow away when a, when a Texas uh, storm comes in. Because, by God, we've been having a lot of those lately. Demos placed along the key corridors in case the Germans try to charge into the enemy force. Um, let's see. Right now, we got a lot of allied infantry. Again, tons of riflemen. Uh, captain, lieutenant, AT is what I'm worried about. Never mind, they have plenty of mines, so the armor seems to be having a rough time there. Soviets as well, again, not a lot. He has 2,000 manpower! Oh my god, what is happening? Cocktail, what the hell is happening? Come on, Cocktail, can we use the manpower? Can we, can, can we try that? Can, uh, you have the ability. Can we maybe build a cache? I'm getting another regrettable replay, aren't I, chat? Oh my god, no. Well, at least the uh, Grenadiers and stuff are getting some good hits. Uh, or, you know, mines... And by good hits, I mean the mines against them. Oh my god. Half-track coming on in, thanks to Bang Bang. There is a pack gun some... Oh, pack gun's over here? 
Oh, big old blob being uh, destroyed. Although Path Track seems to have been annihilated by. Wait, was it by Royal Air Force? Maybe. This half track seems to be doing well. Wearing down the Grenadier. Bunker's wearing him down slightly. Big old blob uh, being stopped by this MG. Which again, always make sure you have something to, if you're gonna blob, to smoke it, to do something. Our improving rounds kills the half track because again, why wouldn't it? Oh my god. Bang bang, I defended you. And this is what you do to me. This is what you do to me, bang bang. Germans are slowly being worn down by the fact the allies have double VP uh, being mid. Completely under their control thanks to Defensive Doctrine who built a reinforced bunker to, to guard his other bunker. Who has another bunker here. Lots of bunkers by this guy. And another bunker behind that bunker to guard that bunker. So it makes even more sense. Also lots of tank traps to guard against armor pushes and have a decent cover. The, uh, we have Shrek going over here and make sure his territory is secure. Okay. Doctrine Rise, we have Toby Shock Army, Shock Mortar, like I mentioned, and also Rifle Company. Axis have Loop Off of Ground Forces and Defensive Doctrine with nothing else being picked. Luckily, the Mortar's grouped up, so a good artillery barrage by this, uh, by the Mortar Carriage quickly made them, well, perish. Good job with that Mortar Carriage, by the way. Keep focusing on where the Germans are, well, you know grouped up on and you will to do great just make sure oh they even have a flare most likely by an american infantry unit i assume yeah the american infantry deployed the flare so they can see the shrek blob so if they come into range uh the american uh hopefully can get out of dodge and have his big old blob focus on it the mortar being reinforced again uh we still have demos over here thanks to the soviet player so if the blob comes up come on do it. Do it now. Oh my god. The other so the other Germans vote making a focus. AT grenade. Uh the blob sprung into action, but not enough. Cash going down, so at least he's doing that. Maybe not on the front, maybe a little farther back, but hey, at least he's at least he's doing it. Dang one seven. Isn't cutting replay day short for Hot Wave 4? This is really a good day. What hey Johnny, I've been enjoying the Hearts of Iron games with DJF. I've been having a blast with them. So my Italy game was top notch. I had a great Romania game. And you know what? My UK game also pretty solid uh, pretty solid stuff. I had a lot of fun there. The, this my Soviet game. Oh, that was super fun. I like Code 2 more, I know, but I like to I like to try to have a variety of games. Like for example, this week I played Dune Spice Wars, and that's easily probably my new I would say my favorite game I've played this year. Um in terms of uh like have been an early access game i'm like i'm not as familiar with dune in terms of overall lore i like the movie but again uh not the not the 80s movie and certainly i didn't really get all that involved in the books but i really have to say really really like the game i really like the dune rts or i guess 4x don't miss the penal play on the left is the penals dying in mass oh god Pen uh, penals are attacking Panzer IV keeping his distance. Good CPU. Good CPU. Satchel blows up the MG there. So at least... Oh, no. MG gets out. It's a Maxim. Hold on. Is that really? Did the MG die? Hold on. You know, he actually just had a Maxim. Oh, God. Pino's going to run into this. Oh, no. Well, that's going to blow up in his face. Lots of satchels going off, but uh, Stern Pioneers and Volk Squad's going on in. There's a minefield there. All these penals are about to die, aren't they? All these penals are about to die. Sp well, there goes one. Satchel thrown. Hopefully blow up more of the mines. More mines go off. Focus. Another one bots dust. Another one bots dust. And another one goes, and another one goes, and another one bots dust. Never mind. I was trying to give credit to Bang Bang, but no. He lost so many troops. He's a bad player. Now, if he had a decent ally, maybe things could change. But now he's dealing with an AI who at least has armor. But it's not going to be enough to turn the tide here. Their only hope is if they can be carried by the guys on the right. But I'm not too sure. 
Never mind. I'm I'm full. Uh, I'm 100% sure. This guy is built caches. And he's now mass producing katushas. Cocktail, I was worried about you, but you know what? If any tank in the world, what tank would you get? But uh, real quick before I answer that, Cocktail, you're, if your mass katushas can turn the tide, you're on my side. I, I could, I could, you, good work. I'm worried about all the demos everywhere for the, especially for the American troops. But hey, your mortar, your the mortar carriage and the mass katusha hopefully will really wreck this guy. So I can't wait. Suka coming on over to help on the right. But chat, if I could have any tank, let's see. If I could have any tank, what would I have? Hmm. I'm not like that particular about like a certain tank, but if I had to pick one, I'd probably pick a Sherman because at least then it would be easy to repair. Whereas the T-34, if it broke down I'd, or like any sort of German armor, I would probably lose my fucking mind, right? Like, I'd be like, how the hell do I fix this thing? The Sherman at least has easily interchangeable parts, so you, uh, on, it, on, like, in practice, you would assume it would be easier to repair and keep up to date. But, I don't know. Lots of uh, good targets here for a Katusha, and by God, there's plenty of Katushas that can absolutely drive the, the, uh, the Axis mad. More tank traps going down. It's gotta be the easy eight. Easy eight's a good choice. Yeah. Worth for firing. No recon, no targets. Uh, killed a couple of echelon, but not much. Uh, T-34 coming over for repairs. Another Katusha barrage, hopefully hitting this. Ah, uh, yes it is. Yes it is, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, I might not get good gameplay, but at least I can get some good rocket play in this. At least one side's doing some good stuff. We also have a cervix strike coming on in, hopefully to kill these pioneers. No, it's hitting the bunker, which does absolutely nothing. So, or kamikaze play. Shrek blob came on in. Uh. But the allied blob just pulled back a little bit. It didn't really do all that much. Sherman came on into mid, being an easy eight. There we go, chat. Pack gun support, though, easily pushed it back. They're going to need that rocket artillery to really open the corridor. Again, caches are down. So at the very least, Bang Bang is at least doing a decent job in terms of helping his teammates. They have 67 munitions and 35 fuel per turn. Allies do... I'm uh, sorry. The Axes do not have that. And plenty of workers where if they, the Axes did charge... So the allies charge, they can neutralize a whole lot of stuff. Katusha coming on in, wearing down more German infantry. Kills it, by the way. Hold on, can we get another good barrage? Oh, more barrages coming on in, wearing down the MG. Suka comes in, does a little damage. Uh, more against the blob, so at least good job there. Panzer IV moving against a T-34, but it's an 85, so Bang Bang is definitely doing a fairly good job at least driving the enemy away. Shrek walked past demo. That's unfortunate. Pack gun, though, providing support. Penals uh, might do a little bit more damage, but Pans 4 hopefully can keep its distance. Recon going overhead. Hopefully they can see this and with their warfare teams, maybe, uh, or Stuka. Open fire. Katusha coming on in. Can we hit the Katushas? And it's one. Oh, damn it. I was hoping all three of them would die. But oh well, at least you got one of them. Katusha did fire over here and do a decent amount of damage. But it's not worth losing a Katusha in the meantime. We have an AI diving with the super maneuverable SU-76. Which is making me just cringe on the inside. You know, I had on YouTube a video of a plane careening into a mountain. That really encapsulates my expectations to, my, to, to actually what I'm getting in these games. My god, this is not good. Panzer IV diving. At least this is an AI. But the AI at least has an S-85, a T-34, a 76, a half-track. Like, the AI has a solid armored force. M4C Sherman by Mao Zedong coming over here. Or Mao Zhong. I have no idea how to pronounce. I'll say Mao Zhong because I think that's better. 
Now Zhang, at least keeping his armor alive and trying to help break up this enemy over here. Since the Soviets should hopefully be in a good position to hold the right. And the Constitutions are driving the Axis batty in mid. Losing a lot of their mortars, losing a lot of their infantry. Uh, at least it's... Yeah, they're pulling back here. Damn! When you, when you think the Katushas are done firing, they cause more damage. It's an easy 8. Thank you, chat. The easy 8. SU-85 does die here, so AI is not showing its skill. New follower. Al uh, Quirt Gachi. Thank you very much for the follow. Big uh, allied blob coming in here. Stuka, though, coming on in clutch. Uh, wearing the blob down. T-34 is hoping to charge, but again, there are the tank traps there. So, bang, bang. We'll see what he does. Strike coming on in. Again, that's a direct strike from Bang Bang. And uh, he destroys the bunker. Volk squads pouring on in. Mortar carriage opening fire on the Rakan Whiffer. Hopefully he can return fire. Should be able to. Yep, Shrek is able to fire and say goodbye to the mortar carriage. Doesn't take the genius to say he uh, to see he, that he is not retreating uh, from all that AT fire. God damn, the American Blob just lost everything. Also, White Phosphorus, come on, you could have used that. But yeah, the American lost pretty much all of his infantry. He does have the uh, easy eights. And mid, the Katushas are still doing well. There's not much there because the Katushas literally killed everything. Conscripts hopefully push on in. There's... Oh my god, finally used White Phosphorus. No, I mean, at least they'll protect the Pioneers. Great job there, I think. Stuka comes on in. Hanging the Katushas once again. Killing them. We're down to a single Katusha for Cocktail. And Bang Bang is now also producing Katusha. So, three total now. Could have been a lot more. But luckily, the constant Stuka barrages have neutralized them. Luckily, 85s are neutralizing the armor that Lud Ludic had. And Ludic now has nothing. He literally has nothing. Um, this, with Bang Bang on your side and the RAF being an AI, Axis should not be doing this well. I'm sorry, the Allies should not be doing this well. But air support comes on in to help the uh, Axis out, but still, 85 is just wrecking shop in mid, killing all the bunkers. The Ludig spent so much time building and so long setting up. Just, just, just to show how pointless that was. Again, uh, Ludig should be advancing more on the right. You know, helping break up all the stuff over here. But no, everything over here is still fine. So the Axes are getting 42 munitions per turn. Allies, 72. Axes getting 32 fuel per turn. Allies, 38. Yeah, Axis uh, doing a lot worse. Easy 8's going in against the Panther. and has... Oh, and it does have Shrek support. So, easy 8 will have to worry. Luckily, the Shreks do miss quite considerably. Also, uh, Cocktail, you want to return fire with some of your Katushas, which are moving in. Great. Uh, we have Penals taking the fuel on the left, which is going to hurt the Axis even more. Strike coming in here. Luckily, because of the amount of munitions, they can keep calling in those strikes quite uh, at a good uh, pace. MG might actually be in harm's way thanks to some of the, those artillery shells, though wasn't really directly in its uh, proximity. Volk squads do drive the penals back. AI causing havoc on left, taking over, uh, uh, you know, the uh, munition point and possibly even going in for the uh, VP if the T-34 can clear the... Oh, wait, no, there's a Panzer IV there. They'll be fine. One Grenadier squad stands alone in mid and gets shot up by a lot of allied armor. Axis are uh, looking at, like, what... I would probably say, like, a, a low 70s at best. Axis, uh, sorry, allies are at, uh, okay, they're probably at low 60s, but still, that's not too bad. For having an AI, I would actually think it would be worse. There's a bit, you have a giant line here that's probably going to be Katusha. Hold on. Oh, Werfer comes in here. The American Blob pulls back. Again, capture territory one squad at a time. 
the uh yeah the su-76 and all the other soviet forces over here thinks the ai died katushas are firing point blank luckily the building is blocking most of the shots again when you fire always take into account where the terrain is uh, 85's moving on in, and the Panzer IVs might actually be in harm's way here. Oh, wait, no. They just all turned around and now focusing. 85's at least do pull back. Faust hit the wrong unit, unable to break its, uh, you know, break its engine, which will allow him to pull back. Oh, bad pathfinding is going to screw this one up. Will the Panther fire a shot? No, Panzer IV misses. And uh, d massive amount of rockets come in, pushing back the armor. Why rockets? Why fire all the Katushas at armor? Oh, that's why. Oh, Rakad Morphers uh, now fire on the M4C. Uh, sorry, not Easy 8s fire on the Panzers. They might kill one Command Panzer, but the Rakad Morphers are surely going to drive these things away. Maybe kill it. Oh, they do get the armor and airstrike. Sorry, artillery strike comes in, kills the Rakan Murphers. T-34s are back. Coordination? What the hell is this? 85s actually knock out the Panther? What? Oh no, the smoke's gonna block it. Some bouncing's going on. Can we finish it off? Strike coming in here. They kill the Command Panther. CPU hard lost a good chunk of his armor and allies I think actually lost less Because again you have to admit oh my god more strikes coming in being white phosphorus Allies just coming in strike after strike Sturmovic strike comes in and kills the Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a game that was actually a good coordinated allied attack. I was dumbfounded because I'm like, why would you fire rockets at that? It was to make sure the Panthers were driven back so they got flanked and it gave time for the armor to come back up. The entire left side, the side the Axis had locked down is now completely under allied control. The fuck is happening? Faust are currently in the 85. Uh, they wear down the armor. This could be good for a, this could be a good idea for a good counter swing. This does, although, open up mid for a small attack by Aradam. So at the very least, the Grenadiers are having a bit of a field day, and artillery seems to be uh, doing some key work over there. That's being brought to you by him as well. But I feel like the Easy Eights will quickly swing over and push him back. So good job killing a cache, but that doesn't make up for the fact the left side's completely fallen. Like the Axis have lost the fuel now. Shock Troops moving on in, thanks to AI. 85s are moving back. And there's another 85 coming in to assist. Katushas are on standby for in case the Blob comes in, which is coming on in. Mortars pushing on in, which is very weird to push up mortars. Oh yeah, if they had Overwatch, that'd be great. But this isn't AT Overwatch. This is a direct strike. They don't have that. Penal's fighting the this blob. But again, the Katushas could fire a huge volley and kill this if they wanted to. And I think they're setting up to. Come on. Yeah, they hit him. Uh, they did lose a Penal, though. And it wasn't all that great. The Cervic Strike coming on in. A little late, but that's an AI for you. T-34 fighting the Panther. Rockets miss a lot of the... Oh my god, look at the amount of rockets! It's missing, but it's anything that's there would be leveled. And T-34 goes down. Hot shit! That's five Katushas! All fired at once. Holy mother of god! Yeah, if, the, if they focused here... This entire area would be dead. So I'm I they, if the allies are smart, they'll hit this entire area with a huge rocket barrage. He should do that. He's also saving up. He could easily get an ISU-152 out soon. 
still, even though he didn't hit anything, the presence alone, chat, is horrifying. Now, he should retreat that unit, but hopefully he can grab mid. That would, again, help out the Axis. I'm sorry, help out the allies against the Axis and wear them down. T-34-85 is trying to wear down the, the German counterattack, which, again, Averdam, who should be fighting on the other side, is actually over here. Cervic Strike comes on in, wears down a lot of the Soviet infantry. Artillery Strike comes on in, again, killing a lot of troops on the retreat. They are worn down, but not dead at the very least. 85s could easily wear down a lot of this infantry as it approaches. And that's exactly what they're going to do. Without AT support, the Volk Squad's retreat. Which is, again, I think a smart play. Stuka hits mid, but I, I think... Oh, it does kill one American unit. Again, there's no activity here. Uh, even a small push could do wonders, but we're not seeing that at all. Katusha's are moving up. Uh, I don't know if he got another one. No, he didn't. But it looks like they're gearing up to fire. Again, if he could do recon, I think an attack over here, killing the pack gun, the mortars, and this. Like, two caddies here, one caddy here, one here, and one here, and I think that would be good. Or have the one creeping barrage do it, right? Uh, do it here, and then you have two caddies here. But looks like... Or focus efforts here and murder them on this area. Skippy FX Katusha spam. Yeah, Cocktail is uh, maybe drunk off his ass, but his uh, drunk play is really working. Again, another Stormvik strike thanks to the AI. And I think this one might actually be coming... Yeah, it's a good direction because he's retreating, Prometheusing it. But he does get out of the... Oh, wait. Luckily, doesn't get kamikaze but still, German forces are driven back. 85s are moved up. Bang Bang redeeming himself, really showing RAF that he actually could have been a solid teammate if you would have given him the chance. Massive Katusha strike coming in on this side, thanks to uh, Bang Bang. These Katushas are lined up and ready. Most of the Katushas are missing, though. Panther is advancing. Although, it, AT grenades could be thrown. Oh, wait. There he threw. And it uh, did a little bit of damage. Shock troops from the AI advancing, but it's probably going to die thanks to the Volk. <gasps> Volk squads melt under five Katushas. Panther melting as well. Look at this. Panther's losing most of its health to Katushas. Suka trying to move in to counter it. He needs to get out of dodge right now. Katusha's not retreating. Suka coming in clutch. One Katusha down, but again, plenty of resources. He did get an ISU 152. Killing the Katusha only allowed him a stronger tank. So, yeah, that's bad. Big battle going on. Uh, allied armor coming in. Volk squad's right there. Strikes, though, coming in. Oh, sorry. White Phosphorus. 85's wearing down the pack guns. Kill both of them. White Phosphorus should stop the Panther from firing, but luckily he gets out of there so he can continue to, you know, help out his teammates. Uh, let's see. 85s are still there, and there's still three of them. One of them just moved back to, I'm assuming, clear uh, enemy forces. Germans, though, are focusing more on artillery to wear down the Katushas. Katushas would be smart to either focus them or, you know, do recon for direct strikes. Big, massive battle going on this side, but again, only the Soviet. He's going to lose a lot of his stuff. He does have resources to refocus, and Katusha's are firing to hopefully wear down this stuff, but again, once you get out of there, Pack Gun probably going to die to Katusha fire and a Cervic Strike coming on in. Thanks to AI, by the way. ISU-152 is over here. Wait! Wait! ISU-152 thanks to the AI? Satchel will be thrown on the Panther, killing it. I, if the AI would actually engage, which he will. There's now two ISU-152s on this side. One of them is an AI. What is happening? Why is an AI being smart enough to get an ISU-152? I mean, he's charging without support. Sorry, the stupid question. I'm new to playing Code 2. I want to ask how you earn coins to buy new items. Playing matches. You play uh, the game and you earn coins. That's what you do. You can do it custom games. You can do it uh, auto match. But yeah, that's how you get coins to buy commanders and such and skins. 
Bazooka team coming in, and Panther pretty low. Uh, a couple more shots, and this thing is screwed. Path. Oh my god. More shots firing. Pack gun trying to stop him. No uh, MG, so they no suppression, but luckily there's enough armor. They're like, yeah, let's pull back. Ice 152. Uh, still doing it I again. Being dumb and charging forward without support. So dumb. But luckily, teammates coming in. Bang Bang is bringing in artillery support to wear down all this stuff. Again, AI just showing how dumb he can be. He's gonna lose that. AI strong. No, he's not. At least he killed the pack gun. I'll give credit there, but this is a waste of an IC-152. AI, you, you had so much to show. It's, you're, you, you're doing so well. But, Maskatusha's firing. MG probably gonna meet its maker. It, oh, actually, building's holding up pretty well. The MG inside of it, not so much. Uh... Wow, MG. One more volley would have killed it. Luckily, Katusha's in their volley. Let's see. Mass Katusha strike hitting what? Oh, the pack. Oh, the LEFH. Okay. Well, LEFH is dead. That's one less already unit to focus on. You still have these two, by the way, but CPU is focusing on the left. And not really hitting all that much. He only has five kills. Now it's just dancing. In pathfinding hell. Yeah, AI could have done a lot better. Luckily, Bang Bang has the infantry to provide that support. Uh, Easy 8 still on the field, by the way. AI bringing in more armor. ISU 152, thanks to Cocktail, still on the field. Right now, the Axis um, actually being driven down quite a bit. Shrek, uh, let's see, has a Panther. We have CPU hard with what? Is artillery in a pack line, but not much. We ha Luckily, Aradam has his Shrek team and some Panthers. Ludwig has Werfer spam. Pack 40, uh, Pack 43 is in mid, but not in range. I assume 52 could kill this Panther thanks to the pathfinding thing of Ludwig, aka the or caused by Ludwig, aka the tank traps. Penal's being driven back, but I assume 52 can get a shot. And weakens the Panther, almost killing it. Good Katusha or Strafe could murder it. Which I think he marked it. I want to say he marked it. Oh, no, he marked this one. I see 152 opening fire. Caddy line. Please, caddies. Caddies, do what you do best. Come on. I see 152 almost killing the Panther. Which is, like, body blocked under the packs. AI sacrificing units. But again, it's an AI. Who cares? There's so much wrong with this match, but I love it. I absolutely adore this match. Ah, oh, yes. Let's have the Werfer charge point blank in front of an ISU 152. Fire, please. Come on, fire. Thank you. Maskatoosh is coming in on the pack guns. Killing one of them. Uh, bunk, again, I think more spread out would have been better to kill everything. But at least he did actually kill this. The other one's barely alive. The bunker's half dead. So. Again, Sherman's moving up. There's still a pack 43 right here. It's technically in range to fire. Does miss, though. I think this Sherman is probably going to die, but the EZ-8 should relatively live. Oh, no, it actually lived. They actually lived and pulled back. There's a dive on left. The Katushas are firing. They killed the uh, units that were at this medical. But the 85s are still here. Most of them are new. But they're still here guarding. And with both VPs under allied control, the Axis are slowly losing the VP war. And again, allies have 78 munitions per turn. 38 fuel. Their Axis have 29, 31. They, even though CPU hard does have a lot of munitions, you can't use them per se. Again, five Katushas still on the field uh, for Cocktail. He has his ICU and 5-2, which is now fully healed. His engineers have picked up flamethrowers from other factions, which, hey, good for him. They still have the pack gun and everything else in the back, but again, it feels like the Axis are slowly losing territory, and if the Allies can take mid, 
they will lose the game pretty quickly. Now, population-wise, Axis are, I would say, in the low, low 70s. Allies are, weirdly enough, in, like, the upper 60s. This is regrettable. Oh, my God. He got out of the Sherman. Get back in. Hurry. Werfer coming in. Oh, he got back in just in time. This is re this is not regrettable because there's... It's like it went down to regrettable, but it went up as well. It's so weird. This is this is not regrettable because it's not torturously bad the entire time. There's enough good stuff here. It started off bad, but it's so far it's turning itself around. Okay, IC152 died for a really stupid reason, but at least the Shrek teams moved up and killed it. Massive Katusha strikes. No, regrettable would be absolutely no nothing redeemable. Mark Target's making the Katusha strike even more effect. Panther died to a Katusha. That doesn't happen in regrettable. Come on. The Mark Target allowed the Katusha damage to be so powerful it killed it. Killed it. We near killing armor thanks to Katushas. Th that's some good stuff right now. Th there. Come on. Come on. You gotta enjoy it. You're having a good time there. You're having a good time. And when the AI is actually, like, causing havoc enough to the left, full health panther gets killed by Katushas. Yep. T-34, uh, holding back the infantry. Again, penals right there. Throw satchels. Throw the satchels. Come on. Come on, penals. You're born for this. Oh, uh, they didn't throw it. Damn it. Katushas, though, murdering the bulk squads. And actually hitting them on retreat as well. So good job there, covering themselves and murdering whatever Volk he can. 85s. Now be again AT thanks to the thanks to AI. AI coming in clutch with the AT, and again they should have enough firepower to hold back the Panthers. Servix right coming on in. Probably will just make the Panthers retreat. Oh, Mark Target as well. Like come on. AI coming in clutch. I'm cringing from the lack of micro. All right, Johnny. Well, enjoy this. Pack 43 opening fire on the Shermans. Hopefully, they now realize there's a big fucking gun in mid. And sh pushing in is probably not a suitable idea. What is all the mortars? Also, Katushas, come on. The fact that Katushas have not dealt with this, I agree. But they did kill a... They did kill a panther. But yeah, they sh if the Katushas don't kill this, I would be very disappointed. I think they're about to kill this. Oh, oh yes. All the mortars dead. All the mortars are dead. Massive armor thrust by the Panthers on the left. T-3045 is taking some heavy casualties. Um, so it looks like they got overwhelmed. Katusha's retreating. AT gun firing though. Might have to be enough AT to keep the Panthers away. Oh, bounce. Never mind. Mines could have been placed here, I will say that. Um, easy 8s are now in a position to counterattack. They're really trying to move in and kill the Katushas, but again, the Katushas did retreat into the base. And more armor is being made by the, even the AI. So I don't know how far they can go. Easy 8 moving in to intercept. Another Easy 8 should move in as well. Good shot. Can we get some more forces? Oh, there's the T-34 coming on in. Pack guns charging. Half-tracked by the AI actually flanking. Uh, I'm sorry. GK Love Zoos. Thank you very much for the follow. Maskatusha killing the pack guns. So the half-track might have died, but all the pack guns did too. Penal throw a satchel. He does. And there goes the Panther. So CPU hard losing a considerable amount of his men, even though he did hurt Bang Bang quite a lot. Though the 85s are... Back in production, thanks to the amount of fuel they're making. And, luckily, engineers did dive, thanks to Bang Bang. So, the VPs are not hemorrhaging for the allies. If in actuality, it's going to start hemorrhaging again for the Axis. Unless the bulk squads can put an end to it. We have some forces guarding mid. But, again, uh, none of the Katushas died. At least, as far as I can see. Yeah, all five Katushas are alive. ISU and 5-2 is back in mid. Easy 8's fully healed. So, 
looking pretty good. Again, axes still have a decent population, but losing so many, like, mortars and so much stuff is probably not helping them at all. Penal's trying to move on in. Cervix Strike came on in and provided some assistance, I think. Like, at least against that Volk squad, it seems. Sherman should be able to do enough to help push back the Volk. Satchel drives it away, and yeah, they're gonna drive and force it back. ISU in 5-2 kills another squad right here. Point blanks it, by the way, with high explosive rounds. You still have some armor, but again, four uh, medium tanks versus two Panthers, not gonna do much. And the Rakan Werfer's out of position. I, it, oh, good Werfer, though. Killed the, a lot of the penals. Hold on. Shrek team coming on in. And the Rakan Werfer's did fire. Uh, strike coming on in, being the uh, direct strike. They're moving up, though. Good micro. More Shrek teams. Allies definitely out of position now. They need a, a, lots of artillery, which they have in abundance to just pepper the area. Luckily, AT... Uh, uh, sorry... The AT guns get neutralized by the Katushas. Long range fire from the T-34s wear down the Shrek. Great job by the ic 2 killing the that squad. Now counterattack by the Allies hitting the Panthers. AT gun AI bounces. Damn it. Massive Katusha brush here. Come on. You know you want to. T-34s definitely in a bad position. Could easily be fought, uh, lit upon by a lot of uh, Faust. But looks like they're more focused on trying to grab the position. There goes the uh, Panther. Again, uh, if it's... Oh, wait. Strike came in, killed the repair crews. We could see Easy 8s be taken over by German forces. Ice 2 and 5 2, though, holding them back. So it's high explosive rounds. Can we kill it? Very close to. T3045 still as well, alive and kicking. Great job with the artillery. Reshlon's rushing on over to get back those uh, Shermans. Again, uh, can only pick up one though. The other one, I don't think he can. I think he needs three bottles. So much death for the Axis. I am seeing so many players lose so much of their army. The Panthers, they have artillery and stuff, but most of the front line is crippled. I2 and 5 2 still off his high explosive rounds, Panzer Grenadier squad. You better watch the fuck out. And yeah, he gets blasted pretty hard. Katusha's hit where? Here would be great. They have not fired yet. Again, firing the Salvo. They need recon. Again, fire somewhere, Katushas. Here would be great. Here would be great. Here would be fantastic. Again, the American could do recon. He has plenty of resources for recon and a major. So, I don't know. At least the AI, the AI of all people is grabbing the territory. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The AI is saving this game. I cannot believe this. Well, okay, AI about to lose his S-285 to a Shrek blob. But, AI is still doing decently well. Again, I would say him for the use more of my Phosphorus and Recon. But... At least the, uh, you know what, at least Aradam is killing a lot of the AI's forces. Imagine how they would be doing if they actually had a competent, you know, a, an actual player. Recon's going overhead, that should allow for the Katushas to get some volleys out, hopefully. Or Kamikaze, that works too. Panther's trying to move on up, Penals are right there though. Can we get some good satchels? Come on. No we don't, unfortunately. But, again, still some solid AT. Shrek T one unit coming on in, but the 85 should easily deal with that. Hopefully. Wait. Oh, massive amount of artillery kills everything here, including the Werfers. Uh, or at least a Werfer. Can we kill an Oswind? Or are we done with the volley? Oh, this one's very low. Is he, or is he doing, like, single fire? No, they all fired. Probably, again, more coordinated, more creeping barrages, like here to here. Like, more creeping barrages would be way better for him. Because then you hit a nice wide area with very per a lot of precise shots. Isu in 5-2 coming in clutch. Again, 15 kills. 
Easily pushing back the Panzer Grenades with shock troops, even though it's a stupid PTRS rifle. Coming into support, holding the Panzer Grenadiers, wearing down their health, allowing for ISU 152 to easily wear it down. Panther could charge, but again, very risky. Nice! Uh, Falsham Mager dropped to hopefully keep this game alive for the Axis. Although we have some troops moving over, being shock troops. Easy 8s still being lit upon by the Pack 43. The biggest regret for the, the cocktail is the fact he's not killed that at all. Easy 8 goes down, but allies do take mid. Big thrust on left. Mass Katusha is coming out on the Panther, wearing it down once again. Panzer Grenadier walking into it. This is probably not a fight he really wants to walk into. He's going to lose the squad. Yeah, I was going to say, if he stayed there. ISU and 5-2 having a field day, wearing down the Panther. Now, there is a blob coming in. They already used Katusha, so theoretically, uh, what, uh, Shrek, I believe. Yeah, Shrek, right? Yeah, Shrek should hopefully take this position. He's also called in something? No. I'm not sure what's called in on this sector. Artillery? Oh, that's from the ax uh, allies. Okay. Does wear down the Panthers even more. There's still an 85 there firing, so he has to be very cautious. Suka comes on in. Doesn't really kill anything. T-34 coming in thanks to AI. Doesn't really pen, but still at least causing havoc. All VPs are currently decapped. Soviet shock forces murdered the Falschemagers, so hey, that's a po positive. A lot of armor, not a lot of infantry. That's the one regret. I swear to God, Mao Zhong, stop charging the Pac-43. It's a really dumb idea. At least the Katusha's killed it, but still... It could be easily recruit. Did he just get out of it? Oh, that's a fucking ballsy move to do that, but whatever. Uh, okay. Ludig has left the game. Axis forces have, le have lost one of their key players. And now it's two. Oh, get in. Okay. Ballsy move, but paid off. Axis are currently losing. They have 20 points remaining. They need a territory now. Which makes me think a thrust into mid is where it's going to go. ISU and 5-2 is firing long range trying to break this stuff up. Could, again, Katusha's did suffer a loss. Thanks to most likely a Stuka or an LFH firing. Which, again, they have plenty of LFHs. They have six LFHs on the field right now. Six of these. And yet, the Allies are still using their artillery better. Or at least, for, at the very least, counter countering very well su-85 diving for unknown reasons i guess he's trying to go for the artillery but yeah that's not how you do it buddy there is a lot of at but no anti-infantry to stop him at least the ai is doing something Oswin diving but it's literally in the middle of two mines he's gonna die but again ai at least trying to do something which is more than I can say for what I've seen so far for some players. ISU and 5-2 firing from afar. Big thrust coming in from the left. Again, thanks to Bang Bang. Again, a little bit lower on overall reserves, but still doing quite well. Good uh, uh, bundle grenade, by the way, from the Falschermager. Nice kill uh, from the uh, Volk squad. Murdered the penal. That was very low on health. But it seems... That Bang Bang should hold on to the territory. Penals are firing AT rifles at this armor, keeping him back. Hopefully he dodges the incoming artillery, which is absolutely hitting him. Again, a bit of a missed opportunity. No direct strikes coming on in, and he's not moving. So Shrek, it was nice knowing you. And with the artillery, the Panther's in a more crippled state. One more shot would do it. Does do it, and there goes the Panther. Don't charge, Bang Bang. You have no infantry support, but a good thrust nonetheless. Now, Shrek team pushing on. Oh, no. Come on. Get. Oh, at least the ISU and 5 2 uh, did high explosive rounds to kill them. Did decrew it. And unfortunately, CPU just lost all of his forces thanks to the Easy 8s returning fire and murdering them. Now, will the IAC... Oh, don't get out of the armor. He's trying to heal it. I give credit. But the artillery just blew it the fuck up. 
and now just kill the repair. Stop getting out! Stop getting out! Oh my god, get the Major in there. Also, Katushas are now walking into the mass of artillery. And Panther moving on in. Ten points remaining. Again, AI coming in clutch by taking over the right. At no point did Ludig, on his front, push in this side. You know what it took? AI. AI coming in clutch to save this game. AI is absolutely saving this game. Alright, yeah, chat. Actually, yeah, tell me if this game's regrettable or not. 85's opening fire, killing the false Magers. Or they should. Okay. Uh, this other Volk squad's probably in harm's way next. There is a T-70, of all things, blocking the Panther. Maskatusha's hiding in the base as the... Of all things, the AI is charging forward. Again, Axis need to... Oh, sorry, the Allies need to grab at least another piece of territory. Stuke is under fire by something. I'm not... Uh, possibly Katusha fire. T-34 coming into assist. Can we ram? Ram, bam. Come on, ram. No? He did not ram for bang. He did not ram. Falschmager's coming on in, though. 85 still opening fire on the Jagdpanzer. Is not in a good position to help, but you know what it is? The Shrek teams. Hopefully they can come in. But luckily, 85 is getting... This guy is actually getting better and better the more he plays. But yeah, AI just helping clear all this stuff up. Hitting mines, sure, but at least he's taking the territory. And now the American actually has to get men to take the front. It's, it's insane. Easy 8's coming on in. Hopefully he can drive back the Oswind. Shrek is saying, damn, why? Katusha's opening fire on this side. Killing some of the AI's men. We have a big thrust, a counterattack, if you will, against them. And lots of easy eights. This guy has five easy eights. So, yeah, the AI's not going to hold on to this territory very long. There's a panther that could go in for a dive. Oh, by the way, LEF H's only have about 39 kills. Katusha's have... Actually, not many kills in the grand scheme of things. This one has 52. This one's kicking ass. Oh! Go, Panther! Go! CPU hard. Going in hard against the Katushas. He's dabbing all over him. We got two down. Can we get three? Can we get three? We 100% get three. Again, charging on in. ISU and 5-2 trying to stop it. But he needs more support. But all the armor is now back over. I mean, they did clear the way. So if they get this territory, they win. And it seems like Soviets are doing a damn good job at holding. Katusha's, can you fire? No, Katusha's died. Nice strike by the uh, artillery. Neutralized them. Katusha's running. Uh, but... Wait. No, oh, there we go. All the Katushas are dying. All of them. You can feel the, the Soviet being like, Ah, oh, yes, finally. All seven Katushas are dead. Now my Panther's gonna die, but that's a hell of a trade. That's a hell of a trade. Mar yeah, this one shot and he's done. Alright. Hey, with this, they'll take the, over the territory. Um... They have a bazooka in there, so I don't think the AI can stand that. Also, if they want another bazooka, I think it's on the ground, right? Oh, it's LMG, actually. Please get out. Please get out of this half-track. Please get out. Oh, actually lived. Hot damn. Ostrup been coming on over. Massive amount of armor. If they can hold on to the territory, it's GG. Go. No, 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 no. Do the... Oh, shit. He should have... Moved over the engineers, or at least put on the capture mode. But hey, this got opening fire on the Panther with 285s. This thing probably should. Oh, wait, no, Shrek teams are here. They're still holding on. Strike coming on in. They're tr He's trying to cling on for dear life, but again, better to pull back. There's two guys over here. 
Artillery is about to murder all this. Yep, Panzer Grenadier goes down. Can we kill the armor? Yes! AT gun pens and kills the armor. AI, once again, coming in clutch. Alright. Chat saying this is regrettable. God damn it. But ISU 152 doing its best, even though he has no support. He's at least backing up pretty damn well. But he can make sure the Panther can't get around him. He might kill it. Again, good pathfind or microwing, I should say. Uh, but he needs armor support. Luckily, these gates are making this way downtown. Uh, mass mal forces taking over the territory. Hopefully, they can grab mid. They grab again. If they grab mid, it's GG. But he's trying to come over to save his ally. I see you fire one last shot. No, he's not gonna be able to. Easy eights though. Hopefully can kill the vet five panther with 18 kills. He is marked. He penned, and uh, we have something. Oh, cervix. Wait, what the hell is coming in? Cervix strike. Okay. From the AI, vet five is down. Again, uh, they still outnumber this armor, and we have a half track with bazooka at the very least. Goes around! Yes! Go, Panther! Go, Easy 8! Go! Oh, man. Might, lo might have lost his engine, but he still fired a shot. I oh, my lord. Take mid! There's nothing! Easy 8's still trying to kill the armor. I think they're charging a bit too much. I think they're trying to go for the Werfers. They should have killed the Panther. I think they might not be able to now. Where the oh the other one died right here. I was like, where'd it go? Yeah. Unless he misses. Oh uh, no, this is firing, you won't. Stormvik strafe right, uh, strafe right there would be great, or artillery. Katusha's completely missing again. There's two Katushas. Panther just diving at this point. Because Cocktail has no army. Flank on a flank. AI coming in clutch. Once again, even if the territory over here. Our massive artillery is taking mid. We have an SU-85 though by the AI coming in. What is with the AI actually coming in decently well? Cocktail only has Katushas. Yeah, pretty much. Thank you, Zero, for the follow. AT gun by the AI is helping wear down the Panther. Again, thanks to the Raken Werfer. And this SU-85 and the pack gun! When the AI is is able to competently, competently neutralize enemy armor that's diving in. What do you know? Although there is a Shrek blob here. Luckily, it's not like the act, the allies are... Uh, to be fair, Cocktail should be mass-producing infantry to help take the points. Like, this is not a good position to be in for any armor. Half-Track should get out and maybe just fire normally. I don't know. I gave one troop on the field right now. Wait, what? Oh, he only has one. Shrek only has one guy, too. White Fosters could be coming in handy right here. They could do it right here. Um, left side's being taken over by CPU hard. AI's trying to do what it can on both sides. Shock troops, though, could easily take this out if they're lucky. Fire coming in. Massive amounts of artillery coming in. Don't know why he's retreating. He should have just held the fucking territory. They did kill the Falschmager, so good job with the shocks once again. Uh, so good job, Bang Bang. If the engineers can take mid. No, they won't. Artillery stops them. If the AI can out. Oh my god, AI coming in. Using mortars. Using a, everything at his disposal to push back the armor. He might be able to rush in and grab the territory. We have a uh, airstrike coming in though from the false Schmagers. Uh Sorry, from the false Schmager doctrine by Shrek. Grabbing the territory, dropping smoke to hold on. S just send shit to mid or left. My God, S two eighty five dies, but they are, but the page grenadiers are gone. Can we fast forward? No, I want to see how this goes, Shotty. I want to see how this goes. Half track decrewed. My fosters come down to stop the infantry from advancing. Panthers are diving. Easy eights are, or Jacksons are on the field now. Penal's moving on in, trying to grab the territory. T34 dives, but stopped. 
Can we succeed? Can we finally take the territory? Can the allies actually win this? Territory's cut off. Jackson's move along the left, pushing back the Panther. Jagdpanzer charging. Jackson gets a nice shot on the units on left. Satchel going off, he's not paying attention. And he actually gets closer. All right, I'll go at two speed. It is uh, when, uh, hour five, I'll give you that. Axe is barely keeping things together. This was sent be kind of Axis victory, god damn it. <laughs> Did you, oh, why you didn't vote. See, so yeah, it's not too bad for you, but let's see. Left side's being taken over by the allies. Axis have to worry about shock troop running on in. Jackson's though, kill the armor. They still have random troops. One point remaining, and it is GG. It is GG. Clutch comeback for Axis. Yeah, I would say uh, the AI is the one who saved this game for the Axis. If the AI didn't charge, the Axis were not paying attention to that side. They gave no credence to it. So, yeah. Um, let's double check the overall stuff. 100,000 damage over for Shrek, who, by the way, submitted this game. So, thank you, Shrek, for sub submitting it. AI uh, by Ludwig actually was doing competent, but yes, the RAF was actually doing decently well. Uh, I, I actually keeping itself together with Mao um, and also Cocktail, which again, top kills and top damage goes to the player who they who RAF said, you know what, he's not that good. He was actually doing decently well. He got a positive KD. He held his side decently well. He took a little bit to get together, but you know what? He came back pretty strong, so I can't denounce him too much. Also, Cocktail, your, your mass uh, artillery spam could have been a little better. Did get some good hits, but could have been a lot better if more organized. Um, so let's double check. Yeah, Shreks were pretty good for Aradon. Uh, Hard AI, his Panthers were doing decent damage. Shrek, his Panthers doing a bit more. Um, Ludic, Pack Gun's okay. Pretty much the weakest, I think, easily of the Axis. RAF, again, a lot of T-34s, but they did sacrifice themselves for the greater good. Bang, bang, 123 kills with the 85s, 33,000 damage. Again, did sacrifice a lot, but they did quite a lot of work. Cocktail, 131 kills with Katushas. Pretty solid stuff right there. But again, if you kind of calculate that, it's 13 kills per Katusha. Maybe not as much as you think. Um, Sherman Easy 8s, again, 11 deaths, but 29,000 damage. A lot of losses, but still, I thought it was a great game. It's it's the most fun, regrettable replay I've ca cast in a while. If it is regrettable. I, I don't think it is because there's enough decent plays. But, again, I think it's still a solid game, even if it is regrettable. 11 dead T-34s. But it was a solid game, Hawaii. Anyway, again, thank you for submitting this, man. Uh, anyway, if you want to submit a replay, submit down in my Discord and or Gmail down below. It's been Grayshawn17. I'll see you guys next time. Hello, everyone. Before you all go, you can check out more content above. You can subscribe. And you can hear as I talk about some amazing people who support me on Patreon, which include Falkford, Afria, Joey G240, Malam, Ace, Shinobi Warrior, Pyroshark, Sumtool, Epic Pleb. Thank you all for your incredible support. You literally helped this channel keep on growing. So thank you. If you want to support the channel, again, check out some of the stuff I mentioned. Otherwise, I'll see all of you next time.